Okay, I've finally been able to get my hands on Flash CS4 and I just wanted to put together a little video of uh, what I thought was cool about it, what was new about it, and uh, it's really an animator's dream. They've done a whole lot as far as uh, making it nicer for people who like to make things move on a web page um, or in an application. And let's see, the first thing I like about it is, and that what's different from older versions of Flash, is if you put a rectangle on stage there, and you have it selected, and you hit the Properties tab, or you open the Properties menu, the the X and the Y position and the width and the height are all sliders now that are a whole lot more easy to use, and they're, they for the most part they stay at a decimal point of zero the whole time I used to hate the way the old flash versions had uh, it would say 116.2.4 this one it sticks on zero it's really nice and you can see the width and the X and Y slider is really nice it's just so much more easy to use and it stays on zero for the most part like I said and uh, that is pretty cool and the way the properties panel is displayed is a whole lot different and they just made things uh, look different here and there there's a few more things in the in the main menu here on the tools menu um, but I thought that was really cool I'm gonna go ahead and convert this to a movie clip symbol And then this uh, 3D rotation tool is really cool as well. Uh, and what this will do is allow you to move move this thing in in a 3D space. See that? That's nice, huh? So you can tween animate all these things, any movie clip you have, in a 3D space and make it do all kind of neat things. Um, but I thought that was pretty cool also and then there's something let's go here okay the motion uh, this uh, default uh, motion presets here that weren't in the last one and it sets up a nice so if you wanted to bounce in bounce out bounce smoosh all kind of neat things fly in left and I'm gonna apply uh, let's see that wave thing that looks cool okay so you select that you have your movie clip selected you go into the library the motion library there press apply and you can see on the stage it applied it to the timeline um, let's see now if we press enter here or we can just publish out you see it sets it up nice going back and forth and all these motion guides are really cool because you can move this that after you uh, set that up and then publish out again Oops. and you can see how it changed it so all of those motion uh, presets are really cool there's a whole bunch of them and you can manipulate them after you put them on stage for all your movie clips uh, what else was cool the uh, the bones thing is really cool so if you take a, let's see a little shape oval tool make a bicep So we don't want any line here. Then we take another oval, make a forearm, and a little hand, and then you put your bones in. You press the uh, little bone symbol there. You start drawing in the bones. And then once you get them drawn in, you can then animate this thing.
wherever you move it it follows you can move any piece of it and the rest stays connected it's just really cool stuff and uh, I look forward to learning a lot more about how Bones works and to see if I can get some movie clips connected and that would be really cool so far I played with it for only a few minutes and I've noticed that I can only get drawing symbols to work like this and I would like to have three separate movie clips and maybe it's possible but I haven't figured it out yet but I'm sure somebody out there has and maybe you'll tell me uh, or I'll get it by the end of the day maybe <laughs> but I thought Bones is really cool and what else was there that I wanted to mention oh the sound library if you go up here to uh, window common libraries sounds there's all kind of sounds in there now. which was uh, this was not in the last versions of flash um, what else was there oh and the images leave a ghost behind which I think is cool every time you move something not that thing but this thing you can see how it leaves a ghost image behind from the origin point that way you can see where it was and that is a new feature and so far that's all I've been able to see that's new I'll be digging through it some more and if I see anything else really really cool I'll uh, I'll make some comments about it but if you're working with CS4 already uh, you'll notice that it is a nice animator an animator's dream as has a lot of features rich for animation tweening and motion and sound and video so that's it Talk to you guys later.